Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make bad audio sound good and good audio sound even better for free. So I have a clip of our pastor at my church just talking about the history of our church. It's a short little clip, about 30 seconds, open in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just gonna take a listen and see if there are any ways we can improve this audio right now. Hey folks, I wanted to take a moment and just talk to you about the history of the refuge. So back years ago in the 90s, church planting was not so if you can hear, it, it kind of continues throughout the whole piece, but especially in the beginning, there's some really staticky portions of his microphone, and the room is also pretty echoey that we recorded in. So I'm gonna show you how we can use this free tool to make it sound way, way better. So first, I need to get a WAV file of our audio. So I'm gonna go over to the Deliver tab and scroll all the way to the right and click Audio Only. So that's gonna turn off video and enable just the audio export in 24-bit uh, depth and wave is great. So I'm just gonna put this into my downloads and then just call this audio for enhance. And then I just hit add to render queue and then render. So it'll just take a second because it's just audio and then we're gonna go to podcast.adobe.com and it's gonna bring you to this page. You get a couple extra features if you are an Adobe subscriber, but I'm just using my free account right now. Um, so it does give you a few, a few options, even if you're using a free account. And then I'm just gonna drag our audio in and drop it, and it'll take a second to upload and process. So now that it's done processing, we can either preview it here and toggle on off to see the before and after, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click download and then go back into Resolve, and go back to our edit page, and then I'm gonna drag in that new file. And then I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto the second video track. And you can line it up or you can select both tracks and go to Auto Align by Waveform. And it'll just line it up by the sound and make sure they're in sync. And then if I mute our first track, you can listen to the enhanced audio. Hey folks, I wanted to take a moment and just talk to you about the history of the refuge. So back years ago in the 90s, church planting. So that's a huge difference. Uh, for one, it just makes it sound much more professional, almost sounds like it was recorded in a studio with no echo whatsoever, but also it took out a lot of the static that we were having an issue with, which is really, really cool. So that's pretty much it, it's really that easy. The one additional thing that I'll show you today is most of the time I don't actually mute the original audio track. I just come over to the track mixer here on the right and bring our audio down, audio one down by maybe 20 to 30 dB. And then if I play it again, it kind of takes some tweaking, but that's really just to get a more natural sound because the enhanced audio does have a pretty um, isolated sound. And so I wanna keep it a little more natural, um, but it's always a balance and it depends on your specific audio and recording. Folks, I wanted to take a moment and just talk to you about the history of the refuge. So back years ago in the 90s, church plant. So you can see if I bring it up too much, we get some of that static back. So I won't bring it up a lot, but I think leaving it in there a little bit, especially if it's just, there's no static if there's just a, a little extra room noise sometimes that can help make it sound a little more natural but after that's done feel free to go ahead and export but that's really all there is to it if you're interested in more quick tutorials like these let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly church video tips